good evening till now we have covered force and the linear motion due to application of force that means you know it is going to give you whenever the force is applied on an object there is a displacement that is a linear displacement and the object moves in the line of application of force along the line of application of force now we are going to discuss about the rotation that means when a force is applied how to get the rotation when a force is applied about a point the line of action is away from the point about the center the rotation takes place so let me just define what is a moment moment of a force about a point represents the tendency to rotate the moment arm or the body on which the force acts about an axis which is perpendicular to the plane defined by the force and its moment arm and it is a vector just like a displacement angular displacement takes place let us just see the board and discuss about it so you can see the spanner whenever you want to just tighten the board or loosen it you always apply the force not at the center about which the board is being rotated but there will be a offset will be there this is the line of action of your force where you are going to apply the force and this one is arm moment arm and this is the moment center and this is the line of action of your force force is applied now you can imagine this bolt rotates about an axis whenever we say rotation rotation will be always about an axis that axis will be perpendicular to the plane of rotation plane of motion and if you see this is the plane in which your bolt is being rotated with the moment they say rotation there should be an axis that axis will be always perpendicular to this board or plane of motion and about this axis this rotates whether it is the clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction coming to here this is a plane i have taken a just a force this is the line of action of a force and i have taken a point o and i have taken a point on this line of action a and just to apply the force perpendicular to this line of action arm now you can imagine this body rotates about the axis this is called moment hence the tendency of a moment is to rotate the body about an axis which is perpendicular to the axis of rotation and moment is a vector quantity the moment is a vector quantity it has got magnitude and direction now if i just write the magnitude the formula of a moment moment of a force about a point is equal to the perpendicular distance from the moment center to the line of action that is go a into the magnitude of the force f so here i have not specified the direction because i have taken a scalar formula scalar formula will never give you the direction but you have to specify it so depending on the direction of force what you have applied and if you see it here this one is being rotated in anti clockwise direction and this is the direction of direction of the rotation in this case the direction is in this direction this is clockwise hence moment the moment they say the moment i say moment of a force about a point o that is equal to the oa times f this is the scalar formula and this is the magnitude and this is the direction in which the body rotates for example if you want me to just let us just talk about the vector formula how you are going to define vector formula moment of a force about o this let us draw a line about that one is equal to the position vector oa cross into f bar this is a cross product this is here oa that is the position vector oa is the moment center a is a point on the line of action of the force that is i'm going to call it as a oa that is the position vector in case of scalar i call it as a moment arm Instead of that O A into O A bar into F bar. Here one thing I have to just mention: this O A should be always perpendicular to the line of action. 
with movement down should be always perpendicular to the line of action. But when I write in the form of a vector quantity, it is not required to mention this should be perpendicular. That means that has taken care whenever we write in a vector formula OA cross F bar, that is the cross product, we know very well in case of a vector, a dot product is always, always used a scalar, whereas a vector product gives you a, another vector. The magnitude of that vector will be modulus of OA bar into modulus of F bar into sin theta times a unit vector along the axis of rotation. Now let, it, let me call it as C bar. Now if you see here, C bar is the unit vector along this OP, that is the axis of rotation. Now the magnitude of this movement will be modulus of OA bar cross modulus of F bar cross into sin theta that speaks the modulus uh, magnitude of the four, magnitude of the movement times the unit vector I have taken C bar. So hence here in this case the direction also has taken in it instead of you specifying it it is taken care. So hence whenever when do you use a vector formula when do you use a scalar formula depending upon the data given. For example if you see it here I have given you a rectangular coordinate system or a Cartesian coordinate system. In that case, it is, if it is specified clear cut, see I have taken the force F and A, O, A. So hence, you, you just resolve the force into two components. One is along x axis, another is y axis and this has been resolved into two components. Now, let us just discuss the movement by two methods. One is a scalar method, another is a vector method. In case of a scalar method, and I have to just, it, is, it should be very, very crystal clear. This OA should be perpendicular to the line of action, where OA is the movement center, OA, OA is the movement arm, and OA, OA is the movement center. And I have to ensure that OA should be perpendicular to the line of action. In that case, I am going to write simply in a scalar formula M is M movement of a force about a point O is equal to length of the movement arm OA times the magnitude of the force. And I have to just mention whether it be clockwise or anti clockwise about the axis of rotation. In this case, it is going to be anti-clockwise. This is a scalar approach. Let us come to the vector approach. In case of a vector approach, it is not required to specify whether the position vector OA is perpendicular to the line of action of the force. I have taken, you can take the point all along the line of action arbitrarily, anywhere you can take. And if I specify the O is the origin or the movement center and OA is our position vector of this movement arm. And I have selected the point A on all along the line of action. Now I am going to write the formula vectorially movement of F about O is equal to position vector OA bar cross F bar. This is a vector approach and we know what is a vector. The product of two vectors always gives you another vector. For example, A bar cross B bar is equal to C bar. And it has been defined modulus of A bar times modulus of B bar times sine theta times the unit vector unit along
Now our approach is vector approach. Instead of we resolving the line into two components, we are going to just resolve the force into two. One is along the our movement arm, another is perpendicular to the movement arm. That means so this is the force which is making an angle with our OA theta. Now I have just resolved this force into two components. One is along this OA, another is perpendicular to the OA. And if you see it here, according to the definition of movement of a force about to go is equal to scalar formula, vector formula modulus of a bar times modulus of b bar times sine theta into unit vector. Previously, I have taken this b sine theta instead of I am going to take a sine theta because it being a scalar, scalar one. So, you can write the commutative law force will be here whether it is a into b into c or else a into c into this one and the same. So, hence, now I am going to write modulus of a bar into sine theta into b bar into i bar modulus and if you see here as the, according to our definition the perpendicular distance times the magnitude of the force now what is the perpendicular distance according to us this but instead of that i have taken this one is going to be my f y and this is going to be f x i have resolved the force into two components one is along the x axis that is along the movement arm Another component is perpendicular to the movement arm. So, hence this is the perpendicular distance OA. So, now if you see here, okay, this can be written as F y by F is equal to sin theta. So, hence F y is equal to F times of sin theta, the same thing I have written here. So, hence you can certainly explain F into sin theta into perpendicular distance that is OA into unit vector I bar. So, hence, instead of you writing, whether you write it as A bar cross sine theta into B bar or as A bar cross magnitude of into B bar into sine theta, it is one and the same. Hence, there are two methods are there. Whether you resolve the perpendicular distance, the distance OA moment arm into two components, one is a perpendicular to this one, another is this one. Instead of that, you can certainly resolve the force into two components. One is along the moment arm and another is perpendicular to the moment arm. And you can certainly just define as per the formula, the perpendicular distance times the magnitude of the force. Hence, but if you see here, this is the Fy, which is perpendicular to our OA. Hence, this is another approach.